What episode is this? 39. 39. 39. Okay. It's 39. I, ty I typed in 39. Yeah, it's 39. 3. 2. 1. Okay. And we are live and we are back. Let's go. I'm Corey. I'm Jordan. This is the Corey Don't Pull Up Bad Podcast and we are back. Like we never left. We are back like we never left. Episode 39. 39. Yeah, I was about to say. You already. You know what's funny? I realized it before I realized it. <laughs> Hold tight, please, guys. You already know what's coming up next. We got to get that number that corresponds to the athlete of our episode. I know. I'm scroll, gonna, scroll, scroll. I'm going to forever be embarrassed about 32 because Magic Johnson wore it. Like I said, I know OJ Simpson. Like, I should have known it was Magic. Like, but I don't care. It's also Magic up here. But, and Jim Brown and Kevin McHale. There's no OJ Simpson. Who? <laughs> <laughs> This um, is one with the Dolphins, yeah. I don't know how to, Larry, because I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but Sanka. when the Dolphins went undefeated. Let's go say the C is on, it's silent. I'm going to mess it up. Sanka. Yeah, I know who that is, though. Okay. Um, he was on the, he's the, the only undefeated team ever. So gotcha. Uh, well known, but okay, locked and loaded. All right, y'all. So, before we get into it, like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. subscribe. Please, mm -hmm. please, please, like, share, and subscribe to this video. Share with your friends, okay? You can find us at... Apple on an uh, Apple Podcast on Spotify on Google Podcast. Thank you on and most of the streaming major streaming platforms. Let's I think go. we're on all. I mean, you know, we we on what we on. And for our people who like to watch us in person, you can uh, you can uh, see us on YouTube. Yeah, right? Recorded in full effect. Please, Jordan, please, Jordan's please. got to better on the team. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting you, it together. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll let you start saying this. So you can remember what we're actually on. <laughs> oh my goodness! As we told y'all, everything you see after the record button is what I do. So I'll just make sure we're at. So. Hey, I just be trying to you know mix it up a little bit. Make sure we have a studio to record in. But. <laughs> <laughs> No, okay, uh, I was going to say disclaimer. Okay. Yep, we still don't got it. Who, 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 we don't care. We don't okay. care. This is for entertainment purposes only. Entertainment Jordan and purposes I only. are not any type of financial, fitness, or any type of professional. Do not sue us. Do not ask us when we're going to continue doing the disclaimer that our lawyer gave us and then record it so we don't have to do it. Don't <laughs> worry about that, okay? Just we know that you've officially been disclaimed. disclaimed. All right. Yeah. Entertainment purposes only. Mm -hmm. All right. This is our, our best informed guests, a.k.a. our opinions. And yeah. we don't want to hear no talk. Don't talk back. Yeah, don't talk back. Don't yeah. talk back. You can't see George's hand. They got to right. form like he's going to treat you like he's E. Honda. But. <laughs> and you, anybody but that. Shout out to Street Fighter. Yeah, shout out to my man, Dot. Y'all don't, never mind. Y'all don't watch Battle Rap. Look. <laughs> he said, uh, think Dow Sim. Maybe because I reach and spit fire. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's arguably one of the that's arguably the best first round ever. Dot versus Bill Collector. He went crazy on that. We had to check. I had to check. I had to check. If you remind me afterwards, yeah. man, we'll he had a uh, what's the guy with the uh, lazy eye? He passed Stuart Scott. Uh huh. He had a stu after he passed away. He had a he said uh, uh, some sports center. Thanks Stuart Scott because I put you in a box. It was some wow. <laughs> Wow, he, sir. He was going he was going crazy in that. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. Bring uh, it back real quick for our first time listeners. We talk about health then well and fitness and finance and everything in between. We need to make sure you save more and say less. And keep making better your best. Yes, yes, yeah. For those of you know battle rap is my thing. That's that's why we got this. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, yep, and if you want to know the best battle of all time, drugs versus berry bands. Drugs with a Z, berry bands with a Z. No, that's neither here nor there, but that battle's crazy. Anyways, so Jordan's like, what? It sounds like we've been watching some stuff in between episodes, y'all. Stay tuned. I'll let y'all know if it's weed lit next episode. Well, the, the drugs versus Barry Bands, I'm extremely biased because I was at that one. Oh, okay. Why? That was, was stupid. Gotcha. That battle was crazy. All right. Um, One reason we're doing this because we have no errors. Yes. <laughs> no. We have errors. We do not have errors <laughs> listed for you <laughs> for this episode. Because that's uh, what stupid. That's what we're probably gonna be like. Like Jesus Christ. Listen, charge it to our what is it? Charge it to our heart and our mind and not our hearts. All right, we, we they, yeah that. Y'all should definitely cross reference our information and do your own research. Please, please do that. Yeah, All I right. challenge y'all. At least. Uh, if you do your own research, one, at least I know you're listening to us, right? That requires you to listen to my opinion and then go find your own, all right? So, yeah, challenge us. Give us some yeah. feedback, you know what I mean? All that good stuff. Yeah. That don't mean my opinion going to change, but you know what I'm saying? We we appreciate y'all double-checking us, all right? And this, this isn't the finance section, but this, this is why I don't care because I know people lie and don't do the math. In short, you know, should you pay off debt or invest, right? So I, I took the liberty to run the math on the on which one you should do. <laughs> <laughs> 40 years invest right 
and let's say you got student loans, right? You wanna do the 10 year thing where you get forgiven, right? So let's say you got $1,000, 500 is towards your payment, you're gonna invest 500, right? Mm -hmm. Versus someone, they're not gonna invest for the same person, right? Option two, they're gonna get out of debt in two years, so they can only invest for 38 years, right? Right. Guess which one has? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say the debt-free person because I'm in that category and I'm hoping it's true. Well, from year two to well, three to ten, I'm investing a thousand dollars. You're investing five hundred. Obviously, the ROI and the investment has to be exactly the same. It's the same person. Right. What the investment people do not tell y'all is that two years does not matter. Two years of not investing at all does not matter. You have to be this. You have to be the same person. Crap. 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 I don't care. It's over 9,000! Gordon and I were talking before this. So this is why <laughs> I, this why, yeah. <laughs> The issue is they do this comparison. And when I, I said this one time in an Instagram, uh, you know, comment section. And they were like, oh, I didn't think about it like that. I'm like, this, can y'all just do the math? The issue is they say, you know, Johnny is investing, starts at age 20, right? And invests at, you know, to age 65. And then Jack invests at age 30 to 65. And it's like, the issue isn't that Jack started at age 30, you know, to 65. Right. The issue is he's investing for 35 years and John is investing for 45. That, no. <laughs> the, the problem is you're asking people to do something that they cannot do. You ask them to do the math. And then... yeah, but it's, that's not financial literacy. That's that's uh, basic math. If I invest, if I just I know, I just have to watch, I'm like, and this is why I'm like, they really getting y'all. That's not it's not financial literacy to say if I save you know a hundred dollars for ten years straight and you do a hundred dollars for five years, I'm gonna have more. I'm gonna have more money than you. Right. <laughs> Regardless of the time, yes, I, yeah, like yeah. So that's what they usually show in the investment thing. Like when you start, it's like you have to have the same time window. And that's what uh, I think the post was I commented on. It was like investing from 20 to 35 versus investing from 35 to 50, right? That's 15 years worth of investing. Like right. you don't have the same amount of money. Obviously time goes on after that, but from the equations that you run, it's the same amount of time. And then that obviously matters when you're doing, looking at what you should do aggressively, pay off debt, stop investing, etc. It's like, you just got you. Like there is no other you to run a timeline with. <laughs> <laughs> So you got to sit down and be like, I got X amount of years till I want to retire and then run the math on that. There is no other person for you to compare yourself to. There's no Jack for you, John. <laughs> it's just you, John. <laughs> so you better run these hypothetical yeah. numbers. John one, John two, John yeah. three. <laughs> yeah, Jordan can't run his investing <laughs> math against me. He's not, I'm me. <laughs> All right. You want to talk about the gas? Let's do it. I mean, we already warmed up. Look, y'all, what y'all don't realize is we're 30 minutes into a seven minute episode. All right. We've been talking for 23 minutes before this joint started. <laughs> okay. All right. You want to, you, gas is high. Yeah, gas let's is get, high. Let's it's, get, it's, 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 it's double since December. All right. Yeah. So at the, at the time of recording, right? I mean, we don't, we'll be. This, this is next, tomorrow. Oh, okay. All right. Bet. So it's March 13th, right? So if you guys are tracking current events, uh, Russia has invaded the Ukraine uh, for. Yeah, a plethora Did they invade them? I mean, they're there. I'm not doing any research on it. What do you mean? Like, are they, they're physically there. They're physically, I saw they shot an American reporter, by the way. Oh, see, I, no, see, I wasn't shocked that. That's all that they did. Okay, then let's see. So they, did, they, they are there. Yeah, they're okay. there. They're there. Yeah, they're like occupying major, major cities. cities. Yeah, yeah, at this point. Yeah, I think at one point they were, uh, one of their goals was to try to control one of the major power plants in the area so they could, you know. Resources. Yeah, yeah you start cutting off resources. I mean, that's how simple, war Simple works. war tactics. Yeah. yeah. For people played? who don't know, you you basically start cutting off the stuff that's fueling your opponent so they, they you know, they, they give out. in to the demands, right? Like, they either go surrender or die. Like, that's how war works, okay? Yeah. And we try, I mean, most people try not to die in war. You know what I'm saying? So. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's what oxymoron, you know, like, right. well, we're doing this to make it die, though. <laughs> choice A sucks and choice B sucks, but you try to stay away from B, all right? Yeah. So. But yeah, so now gas is high. Yes. Gas is, this is the highest it's ever been in our lifetime. It's crazy. This is the highest it's ever been in our lifetime. And you know what's funny? I actually remember, like, okay, so this wasn't when I was driving, but when my sister was driving, gas was actually a dollar and some change. Mm -hmm. I know people, a lot of y'all don't remember that, but gas was a dollar and some change. Like, five dollars, you should actually take you places. You know what I'm saying? Like you could put five on the tank and the needle would actually move. The needle ain't moving now. Like five dollars, I don't even think 
maybe a gallon a gallon right now yeah it's, it's gonna get you a gallon a, a gallon it's gonna get you a gallon that's wild that's if you're not driving diesel premium that's, that's if you get yeah, it we're talking about the basic the, <laughs> yeah, 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 get the lowest grain 87 <laughs> right 87 I, I let it all right yeah, it's all let it look. to the deal <laughs> like, remember castle williams saying some let it it's spicy <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have been talking shit oh Ooh. my goodness yeah so the gas is really high however and this is why in all honesty, I don't care what y'all have to say, as I always say. It's over 9,000! I already saw for the gas. I already did this in the gas budget. And then I made the post where I saw for it, and we're going to talk about Amazon later. And I already said Amazon would do a 21 to stock split, and the board of directors want to approve it. They always have to do that. Like, but before it happened, but like the gas budget, when I recommend you do is take how many. This is, by the way, it accounts for inflation. When inflation occurs, you don't apply this formula, but you get to keep your budget the same due to how I said you should do it almost a year ago now, since April. Yeah. We almost come up on a year. You take your gas budget, right, you know, three, four months ago, mm -hmm. how many tanks you get in a week, and you multiply that number by eight. I mean, obviously multiply how many tanks you get, right? So say you get one, you get a tank, right, and it's $30, right, and you get one take a week. So you multiply, that by, multiply it by two, right, so that's $60, and you multiply it by eight, Right, and six times eight, right, it's gonna be four eighty. So you can budget four hundred eighty to five hundred dollars for gas. That way, <laughs> when it goes up, like now, and by the way, when I made that post, gas went up at like three dollars some change, and you still don't have to change your budget. Now gas is like two dollars more a gallon, and you still don't have to change it. Now, if you didn't do that, yeah, you gotta change it. Now you are taking that hit. Yeah. Now if gas hit to six seven dollars. Don't come talk to me. Look, it's not. It's not that. You know, I didn't adjust with. You know, find a remote job. <laughs> yeah, 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 Stop yeah. going places. Get outside and walk. You know what's funny? If gas goes up, and hopefully the obesity numbers go down, because it sounds like a lot of y'all gonna be walking. That's all I'm gonna say. All right. We still at seven. Currently, we are still at. I mean, as of the, the latest Google numbers. All right, because we gotta start citing our sources where we get this information from. It's still at seventy five percent. So let's, you know, let's see if, <laughs> how long gas stays up and see if the obesity number goes down. Because it sounds like it's going to get warm out here. We're going to be walking. All right. Yeah, gas is too high. You know, once it gets over $5, if you're not going to work. Stay home. Yeah. Y'all yeah. don't have to explain something to me. Real talk. Yeah. Like, if I'm it's literally gonna be too high. Yeah. You like to partake in. <laughs> I was driving here on 95. Where it's normally traffic at, there was no traffic. Hey, listen, <laughs> gas is high. It's high. It's high. It's high that we had to have this conversation. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that's high. <laughs> that's high. And we're the budget folks, right? Like we're prepared for it. It's still high. Yeah, it's like, you know still what I mean? I in, the, in the words of my my co-host, we don't like to call things expensive, <laughs> but gas is expensive as hell. All right. <laughs> Gas is high. Yeah, higher okay. barrier of entry. Gas is uh, well, you don't. There's no barrier of entry to gas. You can know, you can put the dollar in there and get it. But um, yeah, uh, I recommend um, don't like literally. You have to be driving to make money or get groceries. Listen, don't the gas stay like this. Don't be surprised if we figure out how to do this uh, over the net. Well, we're right? about, we're about to. Uh, yeah, I mean, so, but that, that process might be even get you know, expedited even quicker. Than it. <laughs> nah, it's not. It's not. It's, it's going to be exactly when it's going to be. <laughs> it's not getting sped up in the next two months. Oh, but um, nah, yeah, I mean, what do y'all want to you know, do with this higher gas stuff? I recommend not getting, letting it get below half. That is, you're still going to be spending out the same amount of money. However, second thing I recommend is mental makeup essentially psychological yeah. yeah if you want to keep spending the same amount of money when you get gas don't let it get below half that's by the way if it stays where it's at if it gets above maryland numbers obviously it's gas it's literally put on a state-by-state -state basis but you know if regular gets closer to five dollars i don't ask me what to do besides stay home yeah. however the pandemic is over and i told y'all when was the pandemic gonna end when the student lump now, I got some word the student loans might get pushed back. Now they got the war stuff, pandemic over, and they sending everybody back to work. So the same way they send our asses home, they gonna drag our asses right back to work. It's crazy. And how coincidental that we're going back to work when gas is at an all time high. Like, not only did I go back to office, but I gotta fill up my tank too, well, boy. Well, not just right. gas, everything, inflation, because you spend more money eating out. So right. that you're gonna be going to work more, you're probably gonna be eating out. It's true. Well, how about this? Don't y'all want people to get, I, Mm -hmm. Y'all be complaining about people not having enough money. Well, you gotta go spend your money so people got it. Money has to flow. That's what y'all get confused with. You gotta spend your money so other people can have it. If you don't spend it, I'm just saying. I, my, my, I'm always gonna circle back. I bet y'all wish I was healthy now. That's all I'm gonna say. If you ain't healthy, you oh, you about to get healthy this summer because the gas keep going the way it's going. Ooh, I'm about to see everybody outside waving and running. 
It's like, all good. Yo, wish I would have took advantage of all this game you've been getting out of that damn <laughs> year for free and put yourself in a better finance situation. Corey's been calling shots financially for a minute now, and they, they all been rolling through. Yeah, you know? it's not good that they've been stress tested, but this yeah. like there there haven't been any adjustments made. There have not been any significant updates, which is pretty good. I will say, like I mean, we you know we the, the success rate is phenomenal. All right, I don't know if that's a good. Th I mean, it's a good thing, but it's not a good thing. It's so. bad that the things that happen. Yeah. stress testing. It's extremely bad but, but we're yeah, still here yeah. to tell you that everything is fine on this end i mean i don't i don't know what to tell y'all i mean he, he it's a pandemic crew budget and that's that's saying something right there right so no i, I mean I'm, i mean like i'm dead ass go to your bank and i mean might be able to do it online but you can get usually six months worth of statements look how much you were spending on a tank how many you know tank do the math i said see how much tank of gas was how many times you got it and then multiply that number by two and then eight right to compensate and you you show me if that's going to be enough it is i mean this is math yeah. It's not. It's not. I'm, and if you're driving more than that, you need to stay your ass in the house. Well, Real talk. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, when you probably yeah. can't afford to do that, though. Yeah. That's the other thing too. <laughs> See, this is why you get confused when people say they don't got enough money, but then they got all the debt. Debt means you. You debt literally means you don't have the money because it's <laughs> debt is somebody else. Oh, I know you don't got enough money. You got these debt payments. Somebody else paying for this stuff. Did you want to just? I was gonna say we we wrapping that. Did you want to? You want to just go into your section at this point? I mean, we already on finances. I mean, if not, I can go. I was gonna let you go. Uh, I, listen, <laughs> I got look. I got fifteen. Another. Why don't we wrap this up real quick? Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. we've been to do a wrap up. Who knows? What, nah. what were we saying? What were we just? We were just. It's we, over nine thousand. I feel like we just need to add a current event section in the front and then do finance and fitness. But anyways, we, we, it sounds like we're doing that anyways. But whatever. Perfectly fine. Yeah. Perfect. We, we well, we just trying to make y'all abreast of what's happening in the world and the best way to navigate it. I mean, if if stuff starts happening that we don't, you know, we're not prepared for, we're just gonna tell y'all we don't know, but we are gonna let y'all know what's happening. Yeah. All right. Put it like this: all my stuff from here is gonna be current event stuff. Next episode, so I can tease y'all. We are gonna talk about. The, uh, the director that got arrested for the 12K. I know I did banking accounts information. Now I'm gonna give y'all banking etiquette information. Y'all gonna mm -hmm. be very upset, but I'm just gonna tell y'all what you're supposed to move. Mm -hmm. So that's, there's no nothing for that. But, you know uh, what's yeah. funny? I was having this conversation with somebody and I think I said some of the stuff that you told me, but I ain't gonna ruin it. But, right. no, yeah. I, I wanna be very clear. This is not an opinion. Yeah. And it's it's wait, rules. Wait, 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 yeah, like, we'll, we'll talk about it, we'll talk about it. All right, on to the fitness section. It's shooting faster. Yeah. <laughs> You, you say that every time. It no. I think it's just Okay, yeah. Now it's shooting fast. It's overlapping. I don't know, maybe I freed up some extra RAM and now it's, it's just is you know the process is, for people who don't know we are IT people, maybe, you know, RAM is random access. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, all right. On Anyways, to the fitness section. Let's go. Let's go. I was thinking about it. Also, the time did go forward an hour, so yeah. I don't know what. Oh, I know what's happening. The sun's been out. Our melanin's been activated. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's over night. Vegeta's uh, agent. Super, superpower is back on. Do we have a black person thing? I know what I'm about to play. I'm not going to be able to hear it. Dang. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I know. I, I got it. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First. Fitness question. What is carbs? You know, the sun. What is. <laughs> the sun, our vision. Look, my you, eyes he, squ had, he squinted. I, squ I know the question and I still squinted. My eyes squinted. had to adjust. Oh, gosh. All what right. is carb cycling and does it work? Okay. I asked this question? Yeah, apparently. You must have missed this in some type of thing. And I noted it because I have no idea. I don't recall you, you don't typing really, this. It's, it's, let's put it this way. It's been on our roster for me. I'm trying to clean out the back. We had a, uh, what's that thing called? Backlog. Thank you. We had a backlog of questions. So I'm pushing the bottom to the top so we can get those out of the way. Jordan right. had a backlog of questions. I get through mine. Look, <laughs> listen, I got, I was getting, I mean, that's good. I guess it's a good problem yeah. to have. I was getting some actual input from other people for, you know, questions I got placed at the top. So Corey's no. questions was getting put at the bottom. Now he gets input from people. Look at, look at. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Good question. What is carb cycling? So let's get into the start with the definition. Carb cycling is the process of varying the amount of consumed carbs based on the day and planned amount of energy expenditure, right? So straight like that. Hold on. 
I gave y'all the definition. <laughs> I got I had to think about it real quick. I, I meant to put a star next to this. I gotta rewind it back. So, so this is my disclaimer for this specific information, right? <laughs> thank you, thank you. This is my disclaimer for this specific information. I am a certified personal trainer, all right? Na NASM certified national, so, uh, uh, national association. association. Thank you, National Association of Sports. <laughs> it's bad day when your co-host knows what you certified <laughs> in and you don't. Anyway, National Association of Sports Medicine certified personal trainer. I am currently not certified in nutrition. So all of this is my best educated guess. I have the life experience, do not have the certification, okay? So let me put that out there. The second part of this disclaimer, carb cycling is one of those things that, and this is a disclaimer slash going back into the explanation, right? Carb cycling is one of those things you do on top of managing your macros and dieting appropriately, right? If you have not mastered that skill, Go ahead and skip this episode. Put a, put a star next to it. Come back to this section. You need to manage your diet appropriately. This is like one of those things. Again, we always make a video game reference. You get the you get the initial skill set. This is one of those added skills. You get it as you play the game, but you don't need it to beat the game. Okay? You can go find this in the in the cave somewhere and and and, and get the extra armor and you know be be leveled up and master it. Right? But you don't need this to get to to the end game. All right. So that being said. Get your initial skill set together. Tighten up, you know, make sure we're getting ample amounts of sleep and recovery. Make sure, so six to, a minimum of six hours, eight is, is nice, but at least six hours because you need to repeat that sleep cycle uh, that happens every, or you need to re repeat that protein repair cycle that happens every two hours, at least three times. So that's where the six hours comes from. You need to master regular macro and micronutrient management, which is your diet, okay? Consume the appropriate amount of proteins, carbs, and fats. Okay, again, this is a skill that layers on top of that. So you need that for the foundation to do this. You need to be hydrating regularly. You need to be getting how many minutes of work of exercise a week, Corey? 30. A week. Oh, a week, sorry, 150. Yes, sir. I was like, look, I know I know he good with the numbers. I, so I had to double back, 150, we good. Normally like, you always ask me a day. I got you, my <laughs> bad. <laughs> I, I don't listen. Like I threw out the curve, <laughs> you know, out the curveball today. You know, I answer questions my way. <laughs> I'm, I was like, yes, but no. Look at it. I was gonna say you're doing the same thing. You right answer, wrong, wrong question. Right, right, right. <laughs> I like, definitely done. Yes. Uh, so 30 minutes of exercise five times a week for a total of 150. All right. So that is your initial skill set. Master those. Then we can talk about carb cycling. Okay, getting back into this explanation. So carb cycling is the process of varying the amount of consumed carbs based on the day and planned expen energy expenditure, right? So basically you take in a different amount of carbs depending on what you're planning to do that day. Why specifically carb cycling, right? So we're gonna get into what makes carb cycling specifically so, so special. Carbs are your body's immediate form of um, energy right and i think we talked about this i don't remember the the, the episode so i'm not going to give you a number but if you have it we're, too, we're too many in now it's listen, true. yes like Corey's usually good with pulling them out he just like nah we go back and listen we 40 like, plus in right <laughs> <laughs> but there is an episode where we talked about this before we've talked about uh macronutrients are you got this come on come on you got this magnesium nah i got no, you uh, okay. protein and Oh, wait, did you get carbs? Yeah, no. and okay, yeah, and um, proteins, carbs, and not electrolytes. And, Come uh, on, you always forget this one. Uh, protein. What do you carbs. What do you burn when you sweat? What are you trying to get off your body? Sodium, fat, fat. Ah, <laughs> I guess and this is completely this is completely wrong. Completely, completely wrong. I can I me consider carbs and fat the same thing. This, no, I, know, I don't care. I don't but, care. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> So carbs, <laughs> carbs can turn to, okay, so I'll get you <laughs> dive a little dive deeper into the technical process, right? So it, it, it actually ties into carb cycling, so it works out, right? Uh, carbs get turned into glucose, and glucose does get stored as fat if it's unused. So you are not wrong, technically, but as a macronutrient, they are referred to as two different things, right? You want to burn carbs. So the way your body works is it burns carbs. If carbs are not present, then it starts to burn fat. When it has a, yeah, when it's used up all its fat repositories or fat stores, it will then start going through protein, right? You know the um, issue? You know the issue? What's the issue? I can't remember <clears throat> because in Pokemon, Fat is not one of the options. Maybe you have calcium, you have the protein one. The, the oh, you're talking about... It's not one of those things. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, the stuff they use... <laughs> This is complete, complete, complete nerd joke. So you're going to blame it on Game Freak? Is that what they Put like this. That's why I know. Like, I know calcium is good for you because it bumps up your special attack. <laughs> and protein ups your attack. I'm, I'm, I'm 
dead ass. I don't, we don't got a special attack of But okay, <laughs> I got you. Ass. I got you. I ain't mad at it. All right. You know, I've been playing Pokemon my whole life. That's why I first met the words. <laughs> So I, I equated them some type of boost. Yeah, you, I mean, yes. The answer is yes. Look at it. Don't make me pull them up. We're already off the rails anyway. Look. All right. So you got carbs and then fast and then protein. That's the order you burn them. Yes. Yes. Correct. Yeah. So on a percentage base, you should be consuming about forty percent of your daily caloric intake. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna base this off a two thousand caloric diet or calorie diet. Um, which is like standard, right? That can fluctuate depending on your weight and what your goal, what you're trying to hit. So again, that's my disclaimer. Tra tra change this information uh, so it works for you. And by the way, there are calculators online because so I have people who have asked me several times how they figure out what you know what their daily caloric intake is supposed to look like. There are calculators online that make suggestions. Again, keyword is suggestions on what if you what it takes in the information based on you know uh, gender height weight so you know basically stuff that you use for bmi and then it determines uh you put in the information on what your goal weight is and it determines your caloric intake based off of that you can use those if it gives you an extreme i highly recommend you do your own research and kind of balance it out right somebody told me they were uh i think they were 155 trying to get to 135 and they told them they need to eat 1300 calories i was like yeah now that's lying like that's you know this there's a deficit and then they're starving yourself don't starve yourself okay Keyword is it needs to be a sustainable, healthy lifestyle habits. We talk about that all the time. 1,300 calories is not sustainable, y'all. It might, let me put it this way. If you were eating that before, it might be. But for me, that's unrealistic. I'm on like, I know I always do math off of 2,000. I, I'm on like 2,400 a day. So caloric deficit is anything under 2,400 for me. You know what I mean? Um, but I eat a lot of meat, a lot of protein. You know what I'm saying? Like very uh, Carbs is usually rice, you know, a lot of veggies, a lot of fruit, okay? Um, but that being said, bringing it back full circle, uh 40 percent carbs uh 30 percent protein and usually about 20 percent fat right you want to give your body less fat because you what do you want your body to do you want it to burn the fat stores that you already have everybody has i mean i won't say everybody some people are really extremely lean but if you're not one of those people which is an extremely low number because 75 percent of america is obese but we always got to bring it back full circle let's keep it the statistics flowing right if you are not <laughs> in the 25 percent, and let's be very clear just because you're in the 25 percent that's not obese doesn't mean you're not overweight exactly <laughs> yeah it doesn't mean that you're not it means you're normal weight but not doesn't mean you're healthy exactly Goodness so gracious. of that 25 percent, <laughs> i would say i'm making a guess right now because i don't want to type it in and look it up on google but i'm gonna say about and i'll clean it up if i need to in the air section i'm gonna say about maybe less than five percent of that 25 percent is actually you know or lean more healthy. yeah you know what i'm saying um so that being the case again master the initial skill set get your diet under control 40 percent carbs 30 percent protein 20 percent fat okay um so bring it back full circle um uh, carbs are your body's primary source of pro uh, energy uh you want you need to get an adequate amount uh or your body will again start burning through fat and then it'll technically start burning through protein if you get to the point where you're you're burning through protein that's not necessarily a bad thing but it's not great either right you want to keep your body in a fat burning state right so what carb cycling does is it capitalizes on that actual technical process of giving your body the necessary amount of carbs only to get through the activity for the day and that's more or less the bottom line up front of what carb cycling is so perfect example we have a high intensity day on our Monday because we have a finally fit class, right? Okay. So we're gonna do HIT. HIT is an hour of nonstop exercise, uh, basically where you're trying to get your target heart rate to about uh, at least 65% or higher, you know what I mean? You're, you're basically pushing yourself. Uh, as Corey will tell you, if we do a HIT workout, there's usually not a lot of breaks and a lot of heavy breathing. Uh, your heart rate is accelerated, right? Because we're, we're getting up there, it's constant burning, uh, calorie burning state. If we are doing HIT that day, uh, and you are aware of it ahead of time, you want to get, uh, two to two and a half grams of carbs for every pound that you are uh for your for your weight right so do the math right the average uh i think i brought it up but i think i have to memorize the average male weight in the u.s is 199 pounds we're gonna round it up to 200 for mass sake and i think for women yeah for women it's 180 pounds okay that's so, not good yeah, that's, I mean, I again, again, that's heavy. That's heavy. Yeah, so that's not good. Look, I mean, you're not going to get into BMI numbers, but due to the average height, should I say, when you, you know, because there's a height. Right. You know, if we were seven feet tall on average and that, you know, right. due to the average height, that's why yeah. it's not good. So I think the average height for you is for, I haven't looked up for women, but I know for men is 5'10". So yeah, if you're 5'10", 200 pounds, I mean, 
Yeah, I, I, I know for a fact because I am 5'10 that your BMI is 185. You know what I'm saying? So if the average weight no, is too. BMI is not 185. For one, for 5'10? BMI, BMI? Your, your, uh, I'm, your body mass index for it to be. BMI is like 10, 20, 30. Can't be 185. Uh, no, when I'm okay, let me be very clear. <laughs> when I say 185, I, I apologize. I did the conversion in my head. Oh, okay. 185. If anything over 185 is considered that's obese. What the numbers, okay, yeah. I was like, nah, that's, yeah. that's, I know what you're talking about. My fault. Say, it goes with cash, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> I apologize. So, let me be very clear. Body mass index scales from one to, I want to say the highest is 32, if I remember correctly. Or is that, does that, that sound about right? It should be 40. It should be 40. Okay. I have, let me put this way. It's, I mean, it's, the, it's, a ma it's a mathematical equation, but like obesity three, I think is 40, like, you know, yeah. 40 or 40 plus. You know, I, mean, 40 I think plus. anything over 32 is considered obese, right? So it, it's, it, I don't, I, I, let me put it this way. We can pull up the, the numbers, but it's on a scale from one to 40 or less, right? Each one of those corresponds to, I mean, depending on your, your, your height, your gender, um, there is a number that corresponds to each category, right? Right. Um, so I know for male because again this specifically fits me for males that are 510 for you to uh the the i don't want to say the index but the the weight that corresponds to you being obese is 185 pounds oh, okay. that's what i meant by 185 oh, so, 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 yeah like, so he was like no <laughs> Corey was like no that's no, not it yeah bad. so if you are over 185 you're pounds you're and you're 510 you are technically obese right yeah. and okay. you know five, this right spot four say it again women's average height is five four gotcha okay so then, yeah. See, I don't know the uh, the numbers for the women scale. I, I should probably know both. But it's, re it's re relatively the same. Gotcha. Because you know the num the numbers are, you know, it's like ten. It's probably normal weight is eighteen to twenty five for men. Gotcha. So women, you know, it's it's not it's not like there's three. Gotcha. So okay. So bringing it back full circle, saying all that to say, if you are. <laughs> You're already obese, but if you're <laughs> if you're two, uh, 200 pounds and you're a male and you're uh, trying to carb cycle, you and it's a high intensity day. You should have you want you want to do the math numbers for you. We throw it out. You said two and a half times their weight, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it'd be five. Yeah, roughly about 500. So 500 grams. I just want to make sure you get my unit of measure right. 500 grams of carbs um, for the day, right? And that's for a high intensity day. Uh, and I know y'all probably like, dang, 500 grams. That's that's not a lot. It sounds like a lot. It's really not a lot. Most of you guys exceed that with you know the average pasta meal if you're eating out uh, <laughs> because they give you more than one serving size, right? Um, most meals at restaurants. I think we talked about this before. You should you know if you're if you're talking about the, uh, the caloric deficit techniques, you're going to put half of your pasta away. Eating that remaining half will probably give you you know at least two to three hundred grams of, of uh, carbs just on what's left in that meal. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, getting to five hundred grams of carbs really isn't uh, that hard to do. That being said, it doesn't. It, it's not even necessarily. Well, it is. It's a combination of how much, how many grams of par carbs you eat, but also the type of carbs you eat. You also want to. There's a thing called a like a clean, clean like basically like clean fuel in your body, and then giving your body trash. Right? You want to eat whole grains. Okay, you want to eat uh, your brown rice, your white rice. Um, you want to make sure you're still getting in the other macronutrients as well. So it's not just carbs. You do need to still get in that protein. You do need to still get in those um, those fruits and veggies. You know what I'm saying? So uh, and the fats will naturally kind of come with the carbs because I very rarely see carbs that don't have fat attached to them. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's just how we we cook. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> you eat in car, you eat pasta. What's your pasta got in it? Most of the time, it's got some you know some meat. Your meat got fat. You know what I'm saying? And then the carbs themselves have. Uh, are, are converted into glucose and in that process if you don't use it it's turned into fat you see what I'm saying mm -hmm. so carbs and fats are indirectly related because one can become the other if not used appropriately and that's usually how we end up being obese so I was, I was gonna say is that why people say you get to eat less carbs and lose weight like carbs make you fat yeah <laughs> carbs don't make you fat you not using the carbs when you're consuming them if you're consuming a resource at a rate faster than you can burn it off then you're storing it and if you're storing it then you become fat so does that make sense a great discussion we have guests on yeah because I, I i i people that's what they say they say it's not the carbs but you know 
the non-fitness people want to know what the hell y'all be talking about. That's what I'm listening. It, it, the more I will say, because you know, you, you you go from one side to being the other. So before I became certified, the more knowledge I gained about a topic, the more a lot of the stuff that happens to us makes sense. I mean, I, I feel like that's just that's anything. Oh, that's right? how I feel. But about like, finance stuff. That's but, why everybody <laughs> broke. Good God, y'all be out there like Jesus. You had no money. You can't have no money. Exactly. <laughs> Not moving like that. And you know what's funny? I saw a tweet the other day that was like for people. I meant to send it to you. I don't know if I did or not. People who don't have kids, what do y'all be doing? Like, like <laughs> what do y'all be doing? And I know I'm saying that as a new, you know, a new parent. Yeah, like, I'm still in the process, yeah. soon to be parent. But, like, what do y'all be doing? You're like, saying if you don't have kids, why don't you have any money? Yeah. Like, what do y'all be doing? I have money. No, I, I, I'm, I'm joking. I'm broke. But that, you know what I mean? Like, that wasn't even, even, you know, that wasn't targeted towards you. I know, you. but just, I, I, you did, you parallel. No, I was like... <laughs> Cause I'm like, maybe, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> right. pivoted. Look, look at them. That's what I look. I was hoping you was gonna enlighten us on what they be doing, Corey. Cause like, I don't. I, 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 they got no money. I've already said this before. I already said what people be doing. Like, they do this. Everyone does the same thing. We. I said this on the black. I think the Black Network episode. So I guess last episode. But I was like, people don't have money. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't. And this is where. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You you can't do stuff. You really can't. And then so if you don't have money and you go do stuff, what what are you using to do the stuff with? Debt. It's, this is not an opinion. <laughs> if you are not using your money and you're getting something, it's either you're getting it for free, right? You're just committing a crime, or you're <laughs> using debt. Why is this confusing? And I'm not even talking about the uh, like habits, mental makeup stuff, like financial. Habits. I'm talking about straight up like people logic, like that's how it works. Yeah, and it's like, and it's the, the simple. It's not a theory, but um, you know, people win lottery, the lottery tickets. Most of the people, um, you know, are in uh, poverty communities. That's where most lottery tickets are bought, right? Right, and they lose all that money because they don't have no habits. But it's like, even if I gave you your gross, you're still spending too much money. If I gave you your gross and removed your debt payments, you're still spending too much money. That's what I talk about. It's not how much you make, it's about how much you keep. Yep. And then spending, then somebody say, you know, spending less money, right, is a financial advice. Fine, fine, brokey's in the front. Stupid. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, I mean, put it like this, and I, I mean, you probably see it now too, but how about this? What are not single people doing what are people who make less money than you doing? Not <laughs> Spending more money than you. <laughs> don't make any sense. Yeah, because I mean, we don't make more money than everybody. We make more money than enough people. Right. And y'all, then... y'all be on our timeline. <laughs> and doing like, more things than I'm doing. <laughs> this is why I made the example. Like everything costs the same for everybody. Like if we go to the gas station, right? Like gas is the same for all of us. It's not different. It's not different because I don't got no debt. I don't. I don't have a. a I got no debt discount. <laughs> and so if you make less money than me and you have to buy the same amount of gas as I do and your expenses are higher and I see you essentially lifestyle traveling or whatever it's like you can't have no money then some of y'all got the nerve to do lifestyle activities that end up in procreation and when you don't you already have the money and then, so now you got kids and you was broke before you had the kids and now you got kids listen all right. Yeah. Anyways, I digress. I'm gonna yeah, let me wrap up. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let my man do his thing. Right. But that just that tickled that's me. What I was, like, that's what I also was gonna answer. I'm like, like, are you almost done? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna wrap, wrap it up. We gonna wrap it up. Okay. So <laughs> bring it back. Carb cycling. All right. So again, an additional skill set to uh, to dieting, having your diet in control. Uh, it basically involves controlling macro the carb macronutrient, uh, which is the number one source of energy for your body. Um, so how does it work? I think the question was, what is it and does it work? Yes, it works if, the key word is if, 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 if you have the necessary foundation underneath, right? So again, you have to already be in control of your diet, right? And you are actually using all the tools necessary for carb cycling to be efficient. What does that mean? You have to consume, you have to track your calories, right? You have to be, when you are consuming carbs or on a high activity day, key word is high activity day. What does that mean? You have to actually work out. You have to work out. You get, if you're carb cycling and you're not doing the the other part of carb cycling, so you're consuming the carbs, right? Let's say you have a, a high intensity day and you're consuming an excess amount of carbs that day, but you're not doing the workout on the other end. Math. You're by def yeah, by by math and definition, you're not burning off 
the additional carbs that you consumed, and I just said carbs do what? They turn into fat and then are stored for later. So you are adding weight to your body if you are not doing the necessary amount of exercise to then make the carb cycling efficient. So, okay, I'm talking about the, the non uh, high, the non high intensity days, the low intensity days, right? You then give yourself what? lower amount of carbs right you usually it's uh, a gram you know matches up like one to one a gram per pound so you basically less than half of what you would give yourself on a high intensity day or you can even do less than that some people do no carb days right where it's like if i'm doing a low low intensity day what do i want to do i want to finish off the carbs that i you know that if i didn't for whatever reason use all the carbs left over or the carbs that got turned into fat from the high intensity day you want to burn that off but in not giving your body carbs today what is the next macronutrient up to get burned fat right so again, you have to use all the necessary tools and the foundation for carb cycling to be efficient. So you eat your, your you eat the necessary carbs on a high intensity day, on the low intensity day, you either eat uh, a significantly less amount of carbs or you have no carbs and then you still exercise so your body then burns the fat, right? Um, and, and that's pretty much a, a, a synopsis of how it works. Um, again, you have to be very efficient in dieting and very efficient in your exercise planning and being consistent, right? Because it's one of those things where a day or two uh, could knock you off or, or missing two days of high intensity could knock you off because then you've consumed, you know, double the amount of recommended amount of carbs for the day and haven't done any of the work to burn it off, right? Mm -hmm. So carb cycling is one of those things. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a cycle, meaning it has to be, it's a flow or a process that needs to be compete, uh, re completed and then repeated for mm -hmm. it to be effective, okay? And that pretty much wraps it up. Pros and cons, um, it is efficient. Um, it does work if done correctly. Most people don't have the necessary skill set to do it correctly. So I personally don't recommend it because half of you guys, again, don't have statistics, statistics. We're not going to get back into it, but you already know what I'm about to say. Half of y'all don't have your diet under control. So you really don't need to be worried about carb cycling. You need to just get up, drink your water, <laughs> drink your water. You're, you're at least you're, what, you're 32 to 64 ounces at least a day. You want to, um, get your six hours of sleep and you need to get your 30 minutes of exercise. Start there. Right. And then, you know, from a caloric breakdown, 2000 calorie diet, uh, 40% carbs, 30% protein, 20% fat, start there, right? Again, don't worry about carb cycling. And for the people who are doing it, there are side effects to carb cycling because it does directly impact your energy. It can cause mood swings. It can cause headaches. It can, you know, so there are actual, you know, bodily uh, changes that occur when you don't have carbs. If you've been giving your body something that it needs to burn energy and you don't, you have a day where you don't give it that, right? You start having side effects. Again, the headaches, the uh, the lack of energy. You know, it, it can literally change how your day goes. I'm I am personally a creature of habit, right? So when I wake up, if I'm getting my workout in the lately, I've been doing my workouts at night. But if I decide to get my workout in in the morning, I gotta wake up. I go right into it. Then I give my body the fuel it needs immediately following after, right? That is how my morning goes if I'm going to uh, get it in in the morning. If I mess up that that cycle, everything is off for the day, right? Mm -hmm. it, it my whole entire day just kind of shifts it falls apart and then you're trying to thread stuff in you're, you're you're basically playing catch up all day so saying all that to say that and that's me and i'm i'm certified and i do this right like Corey will tell you i mean most days i'm closing these rings on my watch right and even if i'm not closing the rings on i'm getting it in you know what i mean like so that being the, the, the case you need to build up the foundation the discipline right we're talking about you know everybody the average right you need to build up the foundation build up the discipline and then work your way up to carb cycling uh, and then just be aware of the benefits that it presents. It is efficient if done correctly, but you need to get to the point where you can do what's necessary underneath before you take on that endeavor. I think we're good. Okay. It's over 9,000! Finance section. Let's go. I was gonna say, I don't know if you can do it. Yeah. Okay. So we're currently looking at a TikTok that is re related to, I wanna say, something financial. It's related to, honestly, the question, sort of the, what you asked me about. Why, just don't that, why don't single people have money? No, but <laughs> this is a listener uh, question, though. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is a, a listener question. Shout out to this listener. Always, always throwing some tidbits out Thanks, there. Thanks, China. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone's gonna get us canceled, it's China. If y'all wanna, look, if y'all wanna know, all right. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna play the video now. No, I'm gonna play the original. You don't know how TikTok works. I don't. You don't. All right. Anyways, never mind. Yeah. For those who don't know, I am not on TikTok. Yeah, it's a. It's, this is a very short one too, but I don't even think it's thirty seconds. 
It's always material girl instead of you are an overspender. You are spending too much money on things that you do not need. It's always material. Okay, so I've, I've, I've been asked, I've been trying to say, do this. She said, please, PLS, not even please spelled out correctly. <laughs> do this. Um, <clears throat> yes. Which one? <laughs> End of explanation. Yes. <laughs> I've already said this before. No. <laughs> where, where should I start? Episode one, two, three. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Uh, no, you gotta go ahead. No, you go ahead. Nah, I was just, just I, my slide. I mean, yeah, I just feel like our, not even just our generation, but folks in general are just broke. Yeah, and then they want to, they they want to put a label on their poor spending habits, right? We if we coin a term, right, that makes it acceptable, then it, we just continue to do it, and it's like, nah, like you're just not doing what needs to be done. So now you want to put a, a cool, uh, what is it? What's the a trendy name? Oh, material. It's, oh, it's not material. Well, that's American girl. Anyway, I was about to start singing. Anyway, it's, it's, no, it says always a material girl. Okay, gotcha. So for the video, at least. Yeah, it's like you you want to make it this trendy thing, and it's not. You're just putting a label to your poor spending habits, right? And I think that's an issue, right? We need to stop doing it. And it's and material girl is not the only form of this right but it's the, the topic of the day but no, sorry no you're good yeah i was gonna say too because we forgot jordan's not some of some, some helpline and then his stats were just written google and then this tiktok is uh e underscore he man yeah he man thank you for clearing up our no, sites we need to yeah, yeah you're make good. sure we do that but um so go ahead this is when go i go ahead. back to the his this this is why this is why i don't care so i don't care so i don't care <laughs> This is when I go back to the history stuff. It's like, did y'all do your research? Y'all know people have gained wealth over time. Like, even though, you know, people are still in poverty, but like, it was way worse. There used to be a time where, you know, you use, you know, gold, but, you know, precious metals, but a fixed resource was the main resource used in the exchange of goods and services, right? I provide you a service or a good, and then you give me something for that in exchange. You probably have all heard the phrase, you know, the someone, usually like the king with all the gold, because there was a, a fixed amount. And if something is a fixed amount, then someone can obtain all of it. Right. Out here like Thanos, look at it. So <laughs> when you had the fiat currency, now we just print it, it's like, yeah, that makes it so you can get more people out of poverty because if we only have a, you, know, you can break the bars down, but at the end of the day, it's still fixed. And since it's fixed, something like, you know, gold, like, it can be destroyed. Like, I, I burn your gold up, now you're really screwed. Right. But like, if there's only a certain amount of it, then we can permanently put somebody here because you, you have to, I have to give up my gold for you to get some. I don't have to give up my money for Jordan to go get some money. He can just, they, they keep printing it, so you can just go get it. Right. Okay? So that's the first thing where, most people have never had money, right? So now we're at a point now where it's like you it, there, people had, didn't have money to obtain to go get, right? To go get, okay. Now you're in a position where essentially it's not essentially they yeah. just printing it, printing it, printing it, printing it. Shout out to the pandemic. I think they printed like over half the money in so the last two years for people who weren't <clears throat> tracking. He was basically saying that, that at one point the denominator was fixed, right? Like, yeah, there, yeah, yeah, there's only an allotted amount of money. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know y'all complain about how much money like the billionaires have, but imagine if there was only like a trillion dollars. I, I, I don't think y'all understand. Then if, if Jeff has two billion, right, then there's literally <laughs> only 800 billion left to get. Like, like <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So um, that you know, fixed resource. That's why, like, when it comes into the crypto and saying it's a fixed amount, no, that's not good, because then someone can literally have all of it. We only have one planet. Look how mad we'd be with the one. The one we only got the one planet. Bro, <laughs> what's that? What's that, bro? For the, the what? Yeah. Oh, I was saying because you were saying if somebody had all of it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah like, if somebody had all the money. Yeah, like, think about that's, that's a problem. They have all of anything. That's a problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, like no, not one. I don't think one person should have all of anything, right? right. Not even person, but just entity, right? Should right. have all of anything. Yeah. So I'm saying that to lay the foundation as far as financial habits, literacy, spending habits, which this is about, right? The material girl thing, and as in reference to Jordan's question about what are single people doing, it's like 
pe people don't have the habits in place. And the, that's why I brought up in the beginning about the uh, investing situation, where it's like if I invest for 45 years and you invest for 35, yes, I should have more money than you. But when I make an Instagram graphic and show that, everyone's like, oh my God. <clears throat> Jack, John, and Jill, they all invest for different amount of periods, okay? And then, I mean, if I invest $100 a year, right, for 10 years, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have $1,000, mm -hmm. right? If Jordan invests $100 for five years, he's gonna have $500, right? right? So. I'm breaking it down for easy math because I'm not about to do this compound interest in my head because I can't do it. But let's just say they then show, well, for Jordan to have a thousand dollars in five years, he has to invest two hundred dollars. That's not financial literacy. That's math. <laughs> Obviously, comp, you know, investing compound interest, but like compound, I mean, if you took statistics, like you, that's what you learn that type of stuff there. But like, it's just a math equation at the end of the day. Look, some of y'all never showed learn how to solve for X and it shows. Didn't it? Well, no, because everyone tells me they like math and all this stuff. They say, I didn't hate math. Y'all, everybody hated math growing up. I was there. Why are y'all lying about it? Most of y'all don't even have degrees. Most of y'all not in most people right. not in STEM. Um, yeah. This is why I get confused. Have you been there? Yeah, we need more, more black people in STEM. What? How you gonna tell us? We was, we was at the HBCU in the computer right. science building. <laughs> we was in the gym shooting. It we tried to do there. it. Nobody wants to come. Nobody wants to come. I do the same thing when they want more black women in tech. Do you know black women in tech? They try and the, the black women don't want to come in tech. Yeah. This is, this is not an opinion. Like, it's different when like you saying it, but like, we was like there, there. and tried it at an HBCU. They don't want to come. Okay, so I'm, I'm saying that in reference to like, people just don't, want to learn the the financial habits not literacy the habits taking place you need to save money first right it's always a joke of you know yes you need to invest but it's better to save money than not have any money yeah let's be very clear it's better to have you know five hundred thousand dollars in the bank when you turn 65 versus no money right okay i know you want to beat the inflation but the the, the zero <laughs> The zero dollars at sixty five is five hundred k less than the five hundred k in your savings account. Yeah. Okay. So that's just like you know building blocks. And Jordan would say the video game references. I love using the gym badges. Like there, you gotta do certain things first to unlock it. And part of the stuff I'm seeing now, when I see like the investing stuff, or especially should you pay off debt aggressively or invest, it's like just run the math. That's why I said I'm tired of financial statements and need to see financial statements. Like how much money do you make? material girl right he said you know i have no money it's like you spend more money than you make it's like how much is it is it it's the same thing with the vacations it's like people need to start putting dollar amounts next to things instead of just straight theories because you make a certain amount of income and what are your percentages right are you a 50 30 20 person you don't do a zero based budget and aggressively hit things you like to do percentage-based contributions, as Jordan would say, into certain buckets of your lifestyle as far as how you spend your money. Right. That's fine. But are you doing that? And two, are you completing your goals? And that, that's where it gets confusing. It's like you have this certain lifestyle that you want to live, and yes, I knew it was going to happen. I was going to say, it started. <laughs> I didn't, now, now we know. Yeah, see, it's CPU steady. power. And I'm like, what does that mean? I, don't know. I never know what it means. Okay, well, I haven't we're back. See, now we know when stuff breaks. Mm. Anyways. It's bad when you can hear it. Anyways. But it's like, how much money do you have? So what was I saying? It's only been, it's literally been five seconds since it went off. <clears throat> you were you wrapping, you were wrapping up your, your, your topic. You're talking about material girl and basically saying people don't have the base, the necessary basic skill set. Oh, right. Yeah. So, I mean, first you have to sit down and say, I have this amount of money, right? That's your income. And then you have whatever goals you wanna have, even if it's not the stuff that I recommend over here. It's just like, whatever it is, then that's budgeting, okay? Then you have to execute that budget. That's tracking your transactions. Mm -hmm. Then there's usually some type of debt management goal that you need to do. And then there's some type of investing thing that you need to do. And then like, that's it. <laughs> <But> and, we, <laughs> what? No, they just, 
I'm always gonna bring it back to I like the video game references, right? Yeah. Shout out to my PlayStation dude. Some of y'all need to stay off the trigger button. Y'all don't y'all don't got no R1, R2, L1, L2 yet. All right, stick with the X, the square, the triangle, oh, right. the circle. You don't that that yeah, y'all yeah, they don't have good. yeah. Ain't no special moves for y'all. Okay, we just need you. To, I need you to be able to do basic moves. That's it. Basic skill set. I need you to drink water. I need budget, you to budget. budget. Yeah, <laughs> exercise thirty minutes a day. That's it. Keep it simple for now. Yeah, that's and, it. Yeah, and so it gets like because something like. Should you pay off debt aggressively or should you uh, invest, right? And that's a simple math equation, but let's not like talk about running the math where you're going to see which one you should do. It's like, have you executed a budget? And that's why that's why I harp on the budget so much. And I give slight put. I mean, you can advertise what you want, but like people who aren't well versed in budgeting because you can sell whatever you want to sell. Right. But if you're in the financial sphere, if the person at least can't clearly show you how to break down a budget and execute it i do not care at the end of the day you are putting some type of money consistently towards whatever they're telling you to do mm-hmm. and a budget a budget like you have to show proof of that Sor- source of funds proof of funds <laughs> and that's why i say it's like i don't care how what your income is what your outgo is if you're telling me you have a thousand dollars a month left over then you can only do twelve thousand dollars a year worth of things mm-hmm. This, and this is why this and why not I, incur debt. That's and not, clear. And not yeah. incur debt. Or 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 the debt. What is your credit score? This and this this is when I was oh, 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 oh. then <laughs> then I'm transitioning from income, right, to income assets and liquidity. Right. Liquidity. Then when I talk about you having money, then you don't got none. Or every time you gotta pay for an emergency, you either have a debt option or you gotta liquidate an investment that you don't want to li- uh, liquidate, which is not good. Yeah. Because I got to create usually a tax situation. Yeah. And now we're going to deal with the IRS. Yeah. Which you do not listen. Or pay for a CPA all because you want to save some money. Or excuse me, not save some money. You want to make the sacrifices not to have you know, as much lifestyle as you want to have or put in the work sacrifice too to increase your income to offset the lifestyle you want to live. But like it, it's, it's very simple. What do single people do? Single people, as well as married people, as like all people, 80% of people don't got no money. They spend more money than they make. It's always material. Go, let me hear again. I'll be the same. Because he was talking heavy on here. It was quick. Yeah, yeah girl. Instead of you are an overspender, you are spending too much money on things that you do not need. Oh, he said things that you don't need. Oh, yeah. my God. Necessity, debt, papers, investments, lifestyle. What do you need? Material falls under lifestyle for people who don't know. Oh, well, like, well, like, well, clarification. Well. I, I don't assume anything anymore when we're explaining stuff, right? right. It, 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 there's a certain level of base logic you feel like you should be able to, you know, acknowledge when you're explaining stuff out there. Nah, I took that out the window. Material falls under lifestyle. Lifestyle is at the back of everything Corey just said. Nah, okay. The issue is when you, you're getting a need, like a cell phone, but you're getting the 13 yeah. Pro Plus. <laughs> That's the problem. People and people don't understand the need, though. Exactly. exactly. That's what I'm saying. Look, That's it. So it's like, yes, you did. You did need a cell phone. You do need a car, right? But then you're overspending, mm-hmm. as this person said, right? On on that need. That's what really screws people. You get too big of a car, like I do, right? Or big of a car, meaning from how much it costs, not the not the, not the size. Of the <laughs> Although usually, I got the biggest car <laughs> on the block. <laughs> Although usually, though, the larger the car, the more it costs. That's usually how it works. But you know, you, you spent too much money on your car, or yes, you needed a new cell phone, but you got the latest and greatest one. And then what did you do? You didn't even pay for it cash. At least you took a loan out, and now you got a lumped, a lumped into your cell phone bill. And then I don't care about being disrespectful. Stupid. But it's like, how are you gonna take out the debt on the on the cell phone? Cell phones don't cost that much money. Which is crazy. Cell phone the, the was the, the thirteen plus terabyte is probably shy under two thousand. But you obviously don't need the thirteen plus terabyte. You don't right. need the most expensive high barrier entry expensive cell phone ever made. You can you can get the thirteen or you can just get. The 12, right? The 11. There are plenty, plenty of cell phones that work for you, just like cell phones, right? And you'll be able to call, right? But and see, text, and that's it. You don't need social media on there, but you know. But see, know. that's the thing, right? So I, mm-hmm. I, I always challenge people when we have conversations, and this is the easy way to figure out people's mindset, right? When somebody's defining a need, 
how do you define the need? I define the need based on purpose, right? What is what do you need the cell phone to do, right? You need to be able to call, like Corey said. Text. You need to be able to text. That's it. So by definition, what kind of cell phone do I need? I need one that can call people. I need one that can text. I can get a if razors were still a thing. I could get a razor. I'm talking about the old school razor. Some of y'all only know the the, the smartphone flip out razors. Those just became a thing. I think in the past year. Like I'm talking about the one. yeah. Like the, right in the butt. Exactly. Right in the butt. <laughs> in the butt. Look in the butt. <laughs> Why are you being weird to me? <laughs> Oh, it's bad that we know that's that's not what it is, but we know that's from that clip. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and we hoping y'all know. <laughs> but yeah, saying all that to say, if you, you really just need to fulfill the purpose of that need, right? So that means you don't have to get the high-end version of whatever that need is all the time. That's that's where y'all mess up, right? Getting a car. Cars is responsible for getting from point A to point B safely. That's it. All the tech and that, I mean, I know y'all probably don't, you know, no, we need, you don't need automatic windows. You don't need heated seats. I know with most cars these days, that's what, you know, that's what comes standard, right? In a newer car. But I, you know, we've, uh, you know, my family, I'm sure Corey at some point has studded out in a car that didn't, you know, you got to roll up sometimes. You, if you never had to put some arm action into a window, listen, you don't know a struggle because my, you know. My sister's first car was like that. My first car was like that. You you had to roll. I had to. Well, well, I was cranking that joint. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you don't need heated seats. GPS is not always included in a car. You don't need leather seats. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Everybody doesn't have the little terminal in the in the in the console. Mm -hmm. I still got the the straight analog. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The old school. I don't even got a CD player. Listen. I got There's the no CD player. I still got an aux cable. They removed I, the CD player. <laughs> I had to get a converter for my aux cable because they took the aux thing off my iPhone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so like, I'm my joint when I say is, you know, but I'm okay with that. I love my car. It's nice and it gets me from point, point A to point, point B, B safely. Yeah. That's so it fulfills its purpose. So guess what I'm gonna do? Ride that car to the wheels fall off with no payment, by the way. So you just gotta again how you break down what the what your need is kind of puts you in a you know a certain category you either in the, the the side that's familiar with the budget or the side that's not right <laughs> nah, yeah but to wrap up though as far as i mean i a woman told me to respond to this and this was directed to material girls and this is a man saying this so i don't want to hear the misogynist crap okay <laughs> <laughs> but um well this is not an opinion women spend the most money so this is they spend like 75 80 percent of consumers are women so we can start there but at the end of the day just set your set your goals like it, the issue is all, all these things y'all be trying to do y'all be trying to get the bag not pay off the student loan debt but get it the debt like you know get the education but not pay off the debt but still have the debt payments <laughs> then complain how that's still in your budget which impacts your monthly cash flow that you have to get a house, but you complain about not having your right, home ownership in the black community and the net worth going down, but you know, you got debt that you're electing not to eliminate and literally decreasing your debt increases your net worth. That's a fact. Um, <clears throat> then you want to, <laughs> women, not do the proper maintenance on your vehicle. Mm. Mm. <laughs> men do this too, because most people don't got no money, but at least the men know though. We right. know, we look, like, you're aware. Man, we know like, yeah, bro, I don't know if you want to hop in the yeah, it's, about, it's about the light, about the Christmas tree. <laughs> Right, you get behind your girl car. I'm like, why are you leaning like this? Yeah. I, I just learned how to adjust. Adjust. Right. Like you be out here, so but you know you don't get the proper maintenance done, which increases you know things down the line. Uh, then on top of that, you want to live your lifestyle: hair, nails, vacation, whatever. I laugh at y'all with the hair and the nail techs, because the business is terrible. Y'all be y'all be sending this, posting the screenshots. I was gonna say the B word, but these women is terrible in the business. You ever talking about all these owners, owners, owners? Y'all be. <laughs> Y'all don't like them. <laughs> y'all don't like them. They be they, they be robbing y'all to tell you the truth. Yeah, and yes. men be laughing. Be like, good guy. Y'all be getting scammed. Mm -hmm. But um, some prices keep going up. But you know, whatever you want to do for your lifestyle, you do that. And then it's like, okay, from a wealth building standpoint, are you building the wealth you want to build? Usually that answer is no. And most times it's not an income issue per se. It's a lack of management. It's how much you make, how much you make, and then. As I said, stop making financial statements. We need to see financial statements. I think a lot of the rhetoric you see would vanish. Uh -huh. I mean, over, it already happened now. We're in a bear market, right? The economy is going down, down, down. Right. All I do is follow the investing stuff. It's vanished. Now, there's some people who post, the ones who, who like making money, like the influencers who do it. Right. But in general, all that crap is gone away. 
Okay, so obviously you can make money when everybody's making money, but what right. about, you know, did you call the 20 to 1 Amazon stock split? Oh, anyways, so <laughs> now I'm just saying, did you tell people how to budget for gas when inflation occurred? Oh, anyway, so it's like, if people were to truly just say how much money they make and what their expenses are, and then show what they what they have left to do, as I said, the taboos around finances, people post their fitness weight loss journey. Mm -hmm. People post that. They post it, they post it, they post it. How much they weighed, how much they lost, you know, they pull the pants, all that shit, all that type of stuff. On the financial side, I'm waiting to see that. I've done my job by posting mine, but it's like, and I know how, you know, when it comes to income, people only want to save but so much. And you got job, you know, you got to, you know, because then you, you got coworkers, you got a lot of stuff with that. But you could at least show how much money you make and how long it took you to pay it off. At least show that. Yeah. Or at least show how much money you have left over to do stuff with. Right. But pe people don't want to do that. And so it leaves a lot of, well, I got this money. I'm trying to do this and that. And even when it comes to like the relationship stuff, it's like, how much money y'all got? Because because here's the issue. <clears throat> A lot of people saying they get in the bag. <laughs> and then like, what is what is a bag? Like what dollar amount is associated with that bag? Because people will say they get in the bag and it's 50, 60 K. Like, I'm not lying. Right. I'm just saying. So like, I'm tired, don't tell me you get into the bag. Just say your range. You're making 50, 60, 75, 80, 90, 100 K, you know, plus 250, half and a quarter. Like, that's why I said, that's why I use a tax bracket range. Are you in the 24% tax bracket? If you're not, you can't be considered to get a bag. But These 32, 35, and 37% tax bracket people, they say we're probably not getting a bag of 24%. But if you marry, that's 320K. Right. So, but like, if you're making a quarter million, you're getting some type of bag. Right. But like, no disrespect, unless you're in like Louisiana, Alabama, but like, you cannot get in the bag if you're getting the 50, 60K, man. <laughs> Especially if you're in Maryland. Yeah. We're not about to do the Maryland, DC numbers. That's what when I'm doing general stuff. Some of y'all walk around with a grocery bag and I'm walking around like Santa Claus out this job. Yeah, I got like, all the gifts in the like, bag. You uh, like uh, Macaulay Coffin on uh, Home Alone. Right. He's walking home all the groceries fell out. And it's, like, it's not to be disrespectful, but in short, the overspending, it's like there has to start being, besides me, a clear definitive number on how much is like generally enough money for basic necessities. Like, so you, if you're saying you get in the bag, just say that you're making over six figures. Because people who, who make six figures, if they get pressed, they'll just say they make over six. <laughs> like, yeah. As, a, as a, you know, the thing, uh, nobody's 5'11". You're either 5'10 or 6'. Yep. Like, <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> That's very true. No <laughs> men are. Should I say no, no men are 5'11". Men right. are either say they're five. All the men who are 5'11 are 6'. Yep. And all the men who are 6'. We say they're 6'. But like, you know. And all the men who are 5'10 are usually 5'9". Anyway, so, <laughs> and since, you know, if you're 5'9", 5'10", it's hard to pass for six feet, but it's like... Right, So like, it's a noticeable difference, yeah. right? Like, we talk about two inches there. Yeah, and we'll have to wrap up. <laughs> see? Okay. So we got to figure out what to... See, okay. I, I, I probably you. shot it too many times, <laughs> but we got to... We, we had a bullet. <laughs> Look at that. But um, usually, just like in the fitness realm, but like people who work out usually don't have health issues and you usually don't see them complaining about health issues. Everybody's body is different, pre-existing conditions, et cetera, et cetera, things you can't control. Mm -hmm. But in short, people who exercise and eat healthy don't usually have health problems and talk about them for their personal. Right. When it comes to finances, people who got money usually don't complain about stuff. That's why I, I shout out to Nicki Minaj and OG all the time, one of the goats. I mean, who even looks at the price tag? <laughs> She said we don't buy things that's got a comment in it. But she's like, man, who even look at the price tag? It's like, I mean, why why y'all be worrying about the cost of so much stuff? Because it gets to a point where it's like, I mean, you have the money budgeted for it. Right. And so as long as it's in the budget, then you just buy it. Yeah. You don't really look at the prices of things. Plus, it makes your decision-making process, process significantly easier, easy, right? Well, like, we, you know, the money is allocated. We're not having a discussion. Like, mm -hmm. we'll get, like I mean... And, and this is not to sound rude, but I just tell my wife to go do what she wants to do. You know what I mean? It's this is the budget. budget number. Do what you want to do. If we're going out to eat and we're going to spend, let's say, a large number, $500, I'm looking is I'm looking to make sure there's no comma, right. <clears throat> that there are five digits, and the digit furthest to the left is a four or lower. Exactly. That's, I'm not looking at anything else on there. So, you know. Because it's budgeted for. Right. <laughs> do do y'all know how to budget work? No, you don't. That's like you listen to us. You should know by now that you listen to all the episodes. Hey. If not, please reach out to me and let me know I'm messing up. <clears throat> but yeah, to wrap up the yeah, single people and the material goal thing, y'all just need to get on a budget and stop overspending. Please. And justify, justifying and rationalizing what you're spending. As I said, it's the people you're in the group chat with. <laughs> it's not me. 
So um, yeah, y'all just gotta lock in and uh, ex accept your results. And people won't do that. So see you in forty. Uh, see you in forty, and see you when I'm forty. <laughs> Right. Recap? Yep. Okay. What is carb cycling? Carb cycling is the process <clears throat> of eating various amounts of carbs uh, depending on the amount of ex planned ex energy expenditure for the day. All right. Most of y'all don't need to do this because you don't have the basic skills to do it. All right. But if you are going to do carb cycling, you need to make sure that you're getting your necessary sleep. You got your diet under control. You need to make sure that you're exercising at least 30 minutes for five days a week for a total of 150 minutes carb cycling you're going to eat uh two to two and a half grams for every pound on a high intensity day on a low intensity day you're going to eat one it's going to be a one to one so one gram for one pound or even no uh grams at all so no carbs you know what i mean that way your body is focused on burning that fat okay and if you're going to partake in carb cycling make sure you're aware of the pros and cons one being potentially being or pros being high energy um, and targeting fat on specific days uh cons being uh body changes mood changes low energy, uh, potential sickness, all right? So just just be aware, all right? Yep, and then to wrap up <clears throat> about the video, one, and Jordan's question, why did, what, what are single people doing? Slash the material girls overspending. You always need to stop rationalizing your bad spending habits, back to that, and understand that the path to success is obtainable. You just don't either want to get on that path and or put in the work, right, that, you know, pave the way on that path. <clears throat> And that, that just is what it is. And again, like I said, stop making financial statements, start showing financial statements. Uh -huh. I, I don't care anymore about what anyone has to say about anything. The money has to be shown. Pull your men up, straight like that. Yes, I mean, I mean, again, I don't, I mean, we can talk about investing ideas. Are, are you investing though? We're gonna talk about Amazon in the next episode. But it's like, at some point in time, you have to do it. And then, this is why we do the finance and fitness, but the fitness stuff is real easy. Y'all see Jordan's big. But <laughs> You know, I mean, relative. I mean, yeah, they, yeah. but you know, it's like. But again, do the push-ups. We're not about to sit here and. That's all, what I'm saying. Got to do the push-ups, bro. Squat, or he, he can squat, do some. Uh, what is it? Parkour. You got to do something. <laughs> Look, Jordan, I just, yeah. my my, my go-to right is I always say I can I can bench my twice my body weight and I can squat squat twice my body weight. Yeah. Like that's 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 my go-to. You know what I'm saying? That for me, and not saying that everybody has to be able to do that, but for me, that shows that I'm putting time in the game, right? Exactly right. Because I ain't, I'm not, a, I'm also not a small dude. Though you know what I mean? For yeah. people, who know, you know what I mean? So we talk threes, fours. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah, <laughs> yeah. And there are plenty of people with way more, you know, money than I have. But like, for most people, I'm not even the resident financial expert. I am the most financial uh, literate person in your in your in your entire contact <laughs> that you can get to actually respond to you in a timely fashion. Well, I got my phone not disturbed, but if you reach out to me via social media and <laughs> <laughs> you can get on that list, sir. <laughs> Let me not even say it. if you call me or text me, everybody know my phone don't go off. But uh, yeah, so it's like, do do you have your financial goals in place, and then are you on track to hit them? That is is very simple. And usually overspending, right? Lifestyle is the first thing you cut out, right? And you so if you're if you're in debt, that usually means you're not budgeting properly and or overspending. And you, you should just stop doing that so you can build wealth. And again, I talk about the black history. They're gonna complain about the net worth and not having home ownership, but then also their dumb ass is gonna be talking about they're overspending got all this debt. That's and then they're by the way not gonna have insurance on their life. Do not do this. Episode's over. I forgot about the life insurance that y'all don't have. Okay. Because right. you no. no, we we will save it. We'll save it because I know that's a whole that's a whole thing by itself. <laughs> All right. Um so you have advertisements. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm no, saying I'm yeah, you, YouTube, I mean, oh, you, you want to get your practice still? Look, okay, yeah, so <laughs> for those, if you've listened to this whole entire episode and you have not liked, share, comment, subscribe, get rated, review, all that good stuff, shame on you, all right? We, <laughs> please, 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 like, share, comment, subscribe, check us out on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, any other listen, major listening platform, we're probably on so there. Slow. Look, because I had to make sure I said it right. All right, I know I messed it up earlier. And then also, you can track us. <laughs> you can check us out visually. All right, on YouTube. All right, we're on there. Um, but Corey, in the meantime, if Corey. I want to get my uh, my budget together, how would I do so? Yes, you can follow me at sideline underscore Corey. That's Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on Instagram and Twitter. 
and my link tree. I got my budgeting, pricing information, $20 ad hoc call, $50 for a month. The one month will get you one one hour session a week. You don't have to use all of those if that's what you're paying for. And then, uh, yeah, then I'll be posting smaller clips of videos on my social, on, mainly on Instagram and TikTok. Mainly Instagram and then TikTok. Uh, rarely on Twitter because Twitter is more of a workplace. But yep, and then, Jordan, if people want to get out the 75% overweight obesity, what can they do? You guys can check me out at Stop Stalling J. That's S T O P S T A L L I N G J A Y. Or the business page at Finally Fit 06. That's F I N A L L F I T 06. And that's on most social media platforms. You can also check us out at our website at finallyfit.live. Uh, where you can purchase your monthly subscription for $60, which gets you two virtual workouts a week with yours truly, Mondays and Wednesdays at 6 p.m., as well as access to our virtual library, which features all our pre-recorded classes and all the classes that, you know, as we do them, you know, they get posted up there. That also gets you a monthly check-in with me so we can set your goals as well as milestones and make sure that you're on track for your fitness journey. Also, if you are in the Hartford County area, particularly Bell Camp and Aberdeen, I'm now offering in-person services for your personal training sessions. All right, you can get that one-on-one -on -one time with me if you really try to get this work in. Hey, I got some clients, they're getting some good results, right? We work in, all right? Three times a week, they sweat in that joint, all right? But what, what does that look like? $40 for a single session, a single one-hour session, uh, where we will primarily focus on strength training and cardio, but we will get you right. Or you can do three sessions a, in a week for $100, all right? So you get a small discount on that three that three session purchase, okay? Check us out. Quarter info effect on YouTube. Yes, please, please, please. Yeah, the YouTube stuff is... Man, it's going to start ramping up. Yeah, so I'm, 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 I'm in. I'm, I'm in uh, 2021. I mean, 2020. Jesus, I'm in 2022. So I'm almost. I'm almost there. Hey, if I just know I got. I got to start posting some more. Hey, yeah, Corey, begin us right with the video content. Yeah, you got, we're, we're over 7.5 gigabytes. Uh, on yeah. the video, right? you got to start taking us, at least <laughs> delete some. That's 50. Like, yeah, 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 I think yeah. I. I think I just need to clear. I, there's some on there I do need to clear out. Be honest with you. Uh, okay. Like, yeah. Okay. Uh, all, all you have to do is download and, and put a hashtag. You don't have to do nothing up. Right. You don't have to do anything else. All that. I can't post for it. Yeah, I'm going to get on I'm going to get right. <laughs> See, I do not want your Instagram information. That is an yeah. invasion of privacy. All right, anything else? Stupid. I think we're good to go. My bad. I, the button to switch to our soundboard is also where the stupid one is. <laughs> All right. So remember to say more and say less. And keep making better your best. And we will catch you all in the next one.